My name is Daniel Clem, Jr. I am an ornithologist by training and profession. Uh, I started studying uh, birds flying into windows in 1974. And for 45 years, I've been studying, writing, and teaching about this issue and trying to encourage and educate uh, conservationists as well as members of the building industry to pay attention to this serious problem for birds. I'd like to draw your attention to uh, the topic of uh, glass. Glass offers uh, health advantages to human beings that work indoors, uh, provides protection but yet the ability to view outside. Glass is uh, aesthetically pleasing and uh, remarkably available to architects and other building industry professionals to be creative about the structures that they build. But it also, unfortunately, for those of us that are interested in wildlife and birds in particular, has a dark side. The dark side is that one of nature's most attractive creatures, birds, are not capable of seeing glass. And they fly into it and are killed outright or injure themselves in huge numbers. Uh, we've learned, for example, that birds uh, behave as if glass is invisible to them. And this occurs in, in two kinds of condition. One in which the glass is clear and habitat and sky can be seen on the other side of the clear panes. And the other more prominent installation of glass that creates an illusion and a deception for birds is a reflection, reflection off the outside surface of the window. These outside surfaces, architects refer to as surface number one, and these reflections are the most common danger for birds everywhere. This I refer to as the danger zone. And the danger zone is that area in which an animal enters and which it's capable of being deceived by the glass. Uh, this is enhanced if there's vegetation reflecting in the window or if a water impoundment is located. My hope is that working together, we can address this environmental issue, an environmental issue that is really capable of being solved. Our responsibility as humans is to address this issue, and there are solutions.